By now, I'm sure we're all familiar with those little small chips on debit and credit cards put there to protect you. But some say their debit cards were hacked anyway. NBC4's Randy Mack explains how this could happen and how you can protect yourself. Come on, guys. Dog walker Annie Hoffman's spotted ATM withdrawals from her checking account, totaling 200 bucks that she says she didn't make. She told her bank, Chase, it was fraud. She says Chase didn't believe her. I don't really know how to explain this other than telling you this wasn't me. Two other Chase customers reached out to the I team saying their bank accounts were drained too. $500 from one, $5,000 from another. They also cried fraud, but they say Chase didn't believe them either. Why? They say Chase said pins were used for some of the transactions. And it also pointed to this, the chip saying it can't be hacked. When you put your card into a machine, whether or not you're doing it via MagStripe or you're dipping the chip, they're able to still capture that information. Security expert Paige Hansen says Chase's response has holes in it. She says debit cards can be hacked and pins easily stolen. And it usually happens right here at the gas pump. Gas station pumps are being targeted at an all time high. Why? Because these machines don't read your chip. There are ATMs and other machines that don't either. That means thieves swipe your information from your card's mag stripe. Then they create a new card and use it at machines that read the stripe. They capture your pin using a tiny camera. That's what Jim Stickley, another security expert, is showing us here. He's paying for gas using a hotel key card. He hacked his own debit card and put the information on a key card. He can use it at any machine that reads stripes. After the I team reached out to Chase about Annie's complaint, it refunded her the $200. The company didn't comment on why it changed its mind. Annie was happy to get the money, but says Chase lost her trust. She switched banks. At this point, it's like the principle. Like, you're saying you will protect us from fraud, and you're not. As for the other consumers that we referenced in our story, Chase refunded one of them and has reopened the investigation for the other. Now, gas pumps won't be reading your chip cards until 2020, so security experts are offering this advice. Use your debit card sparingly, not at all at gas pumps, and preferably only at your bank's ATM. Even better yet, use the ATM that's located inside your bank. And finally, use a credit card whenever you actually can because they offer more protection if there's any fraud. You're only liable for up to 50 bucks with a credit card. As always, if you have a consumer problem you can't resolve, I've got your back. Just go to NBCLA.com slash Randy and fill out our form.